Hi there, just want to show you how you can export uh, a PDF for electronic uh, delivery. Um, so we'll just jump first of all to File New. And I just want to show you how I set this up initially. So um, I'll choose a type of print, which allows me to um, set a color format of RGB and a color profile of sRGB. And these are the options you need to choose for screen reading kind of uh, use. So I'll also ch uh, choose a bleed of zero because this is reserved for CMYK professional printing. So that's fine for electronic delivery. I do cancel. Go to the file menu and choose export. So instead of uh, exporting a whole range of raster image formats, I'm going to choose PDF. And in the PDF uh, option, I can choose a preset of either PDF or PDFX. So in, in effect, we don't want to choose PDFX options because they are reserved for CMYK printing. Um, and we want to choose for electronic delivery one of these four options. Now they all differ depending on the kind of resampling and downsampling of the images uh, used uh, for PDF export. Um, so we'll choose the PDF for web uh, as an option. And I'll choose to export all the spreads rather than as individual pages to get the maximum effect uh, from full two page spreads. So. I can choose a particular page to export, but I want to choose all spreads in this instance. So I'll click more. And here we've got an expanded dialogue which shows a whole range of settings which lets me control that downsampling I was telling you about. Um, the document resolution. In this case, it's set to 72 DPI as you'd expect for screen resolution and various other options to do with your color spaces that you set up on document setup. Okay, one important point here is that include hyperlinks is checked. So because we're delivering electronically, if you add hyperlinks to your publication, then they will be honored by having this checkbox enabled. So you'll be able to click through. Now, if you've got table of contents or indexes set, um, your index entries and table of content entries will automatically hyperlink irrespective of this particular option. So that's worth bearing in mind. So if I just click close and just show you how I can export this particular PDF, I just simply just click export. And then I'll save that to my desktop as lifestyle issue one. I click save. We have a, a progress bar which just shows for a short time until our file is created. There we are. So if we go down to desktop, go to finder, desktop, you see our file has been created there. And we can scroll through and see that we have our file created as spreads. Just double click in one of those. There we are, you see. Okay, so that's how you create an electronic PDF from Affinity Publisher.